Damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. All right, this is gonna be a little bit of a recap, guys. Sorry. Um, so welcome back. Um, this is the first Assassin's Creed episode that I'm have been recording since I've swapped over to Xenoshock. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Okay. Well, we already know we get an access code. We just don't know what for. Um. Looks like some kind of access code. For what? That that's what I want to know. I mean. There's this bare wall here, I think, for a reason. Oh. Alright, well, that lets us go to sleep. Whatever. <laughs> we want to move on, anyways. That flashing has something. I, I don't know. This is all kind of review, guys. Sorry. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Of course, always keeping us in the dark. Creepy looking face. Okay. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. Alright, well, I don't know what the access code's for, and I really don't feel up for going and trying to look around. We might not be meant to find anything with it yet. I'm hoping. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. I'm hoping I'm not redoing something that I've already done. Ladders are a socially acceptable way to reach a rooftop. Climbing on buildings, however, is not. Care is socially acceptable. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salah Hadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both, then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abu Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat. Liege Lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls we might better understand their intentions. Alrighty. What do I gain back And now? Altair, take care. 
Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Great. What do I get back now? What do I get? Uh, catch ledge, grab break. Okay. I will have to practice with each of these things I get back because I'm absolutely horrible at this. Oh, I'm gonna mix up my Skyrim and Assassin's Creed controls. Oh, this isn't gonna be fun. Altair, I'll probably skip through the training bit so you guys understand don't have to watch what it fail. Is to wield the blade. Must be busy. I understand. Uh, I could put my run button to be the button that I know for Skyrim, but eh, whatever, fine. Um, select. Ooh, I get to speed up where I want to go. Oh, we went to Damascus first, and then Jerusalem, and then Acker. Or Akka, whatever they- whatever- however they pronounce it. We'll go Damascus, I guess. Outskirt Bureau- oh, I should've gone to the Bureau- ah, oh, shit. Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oops. Oh, the merchant king of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again, what can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind. Wrapped in the finery of the city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. Okay. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. All right, let us go. Whee! <laughs> cool. Oh! Oh! Shit! I didn't mean to do that! Shit! I'm in so much trouble. I harmed an innocent. I broke the creed. Ugh. That was complete accident. I did not mean to do that. Praise be Abul Nukud, who saved our city from certain destruction. Mm. He spent his own coin to see us fed and clothed. His men tend to the fires that we might be warm. His kindness knows no bounds. Everything we now have we have because of him. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. Oh my god. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Let's interrogate this. Oh, are you kidding me? Shit, I have to follow him. Yeah, stop. Be present before I make Okay. I will I will leave now. Okay, he went over there. Go down. Down. Thank you. Time to punch! Ah! Hey, you leave for that. Eventually, you will let me punch you. I'll talk, I'll talk. Thank you. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What you know is it you want? I have business man. with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. 
hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters, out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak, to look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? Yours. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. Nope. All right. One down, two to go. It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. Tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. so easy. Yep, you lost the letter already. You weren't even 10 feet from where you got it. <laughs> All right. You have no reason to stand here. Leave. Oh my god. I'm moving, buddy. Calm. Hell down. Oh, oh my god, stop! Get out of my face! Okay, can I please? No. Oh, there we go. The last of it has been delivered. Good. But make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only white. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind it. Be about your business. As you wish. Yay, I can go to the Bureau! Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Hmm, I like this guy. At least this guy is not like the guy in Akar, which was a complete to a more jerk. All right, finally. We are here, we're at the fancy party with dancers. Doing things I didn't think people could do with their bodies, but okay. Everything is to your 
Satisfaction? Most excellent, most excellent. Yes. Most excellent. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salahadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. But I have not heard the words you whisper behind my cap. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it lies the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> So you spiked some stuff, huh? Okay then. Will anyone who tries to escape Wow. Yeah, you should be ashamed, buddy. Son of a bitch. There we go. Finally. Yay. We have peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? 
You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Well, that's interesting. Oh, okay. You will not get away from me. Your life is now. Glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al Mualab then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. We'll see what he has to say. Yeah. Let's hear what he has to say, all right? Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Yeah, now we're gonna fast travel back. I think. Yes, let's return to Masaif. Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You've my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, Master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. <sighs> Ooh. Where did I get that boots related? Regain balance and dodge. Sword expertise, damage, you can practice in courtyard. Alright, well, I am going to end the episode here. Um... Uh, this episode took a lot of time, and I'm hoping that the episodes in the future do not take this long. Um, if not, then I may have to split them into two parts. We'll see what happens, but we have four of seven down, so we just have two more to get, and then probably some big boss. Um... And then I think the game will be over, and then we can move on to Assassin's Creed 2. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if this episode seemed a little rush, I rushed. I did have to cut out quite a bit of traveling um, within the city just because it took me so long to get all the, um, the viewpoints in order to unlock where my uh, investigations were supposed to happen. So join me next time. This has been uh, Zarvix from Xenoshroud Gaming. Signing off.